if you ever taken a basic accounting class, uh, this is pretty much the first thing that they teach. Assets minus liabilities equals equity. Actually, they teach it a little bit different. They say assets equals liabilities plus equity. I find that a little bit confusing. I like to start with assets minus liabilities equals equity. The easiest way to explain is I own a house worth half a million dollars. That is my asset. I owe on the mortgage 300,000. That's my liability. 500 minus my 3,000, uh, 300,000 liability equals my equity, 200,000, which is what I can go and get a home equity loan against. So if you understand the concept of a home equity loan, is basically the difference between what I owe on it and uh, the value of the house. Now, flipping the formula a little bit, this is how they teach in accounting class because this is how the balance sheet is organized. We have assets in the top, liabilities and equity in the bottom. So when, when you add liabilities plus equity, that's supposed to balance with assets. So don't think of so much about the formula. Think about how these should balance each other. Now, when we think about debits and credits, because that's kind of the, one of the hardest things for non-accountants to remember, you know, what's when to debit an account and when to credit an account whenever we're dealing with uh, doing a journal entry of some sort. So just think about the, trans the accounts that are on the left side, the assets left would be a debit account. That means that if you see uh, if it's an asset and you want to increase the asset, that would be debit. And consequently, if you want to decrease the asset, that would be a credit. Now, the accounts on the right, liabilities and equity, those are credit accounts. That means that they are increased with credits and decrease with debits. But now to go a little bit deeper, let's break this formula down in a way that equity gets actually broken down and what it's supposed to mean. So we spoke about what equity meant, what the net worth meant. Equity has basically two components. It has the owner's capital, let's just call it the capital, plus the retained earnings, which is also the, the net income, the profit. So when you break down equity into net income plus owner's capital, the formula is now assets equals liabilities plus net income plus owner's capital. Now to break it down even further, what is net income, right? Again, net income is the same thing as retail earnings. What is net income? Net income is income minus expenses or sales minus expenses. So if you were to break down this formula even more, it would be assets equals liabilities plus income minus expenses plus owner's capital, okay? So it would look like this, assets equals liabilities plus income minus expenses plus capital. Again, because income minus expenses is the same thing as net income or retained earnings. Now, if we do a little math, you know that you can move anything across the equal sign from the left to the right simply by changing the sign. So if I move the negative expenses to the left, I'm basically going to turn it into a positive. So it's gonna be expenses uh, plus assets. So now it's going to be expenses plus assets equals liability plus income plus capital. So this should just make sense because this is just the way in math, the way you move things across the equal signs. But the reason why I did this exercise is to then tell you uh, the ultimate debit and credit cheat sheet, which basically means if this formula makes sense to you, then all you have to remember is assets and expenses are my debit accounts. That means that they increase with debits and decrease with credits. And then the accounts on the right, liabilities, income, and capital, those are my credit accounts. That means that they increase through credits, decrease through debits. So I find that to be one of the best ways to uh, learn the accounting formula and then learn at the very end or memorize you know, why a debit and a credit, it's what it is or how it, it works that way. So let's move on to doing a journal entry. So now that we know based on the type of account that we're dealing with, what's a debit and what's a credit, let's talk about what a journal entry is. So a journal entry is when we need to make an adjustment to the value of an account because QuickBooks didn't calculate that desired, that desired amount that we were looking for or what the accountant was looking for in order to 
apply all the accounting principles we, we spoke about and apply the best knowledge about the business and uh, evaluate or, or give the, the right value into one of the accounts on the balance sheet. Uh, that's different than what QuickBooks is it's giving you uh, and it requires the accountant or somebody that understands these concepts to adjust it. So we then create a journal entry, which is a debit or a credit into the accounts we're trying to adjust. Again, we use debits <clears throat> to increase the value of our assets and increase our expenses. And we use credits to decrease the value of our assets or our expenses. And then we use credits to increase our sales, liabilities, or equity, and debits to decrease our sales, liability, or equity. <clears throat> now, at the end, debits and credits must balance. That means that we need to have integrity of the double entry accounting system. And QuickBooks won't let you do an unbalanced journal entry. So that, that that's fine. You don't have to get too worried about the whole balancing concept. Now let's go and do a journal entry in QuickBooks. But before we do a journal entry, let's look at a financial statement. Let me look at a financial statement for this fiscal year. And let's say that for whatever reason, uh, the accountant is looking at this uh, and going through all the numbers and they detect an error. And let's just say, if, hypothetically speaking, the error is that this account here called uh, payments on account uh, really is, uh, let's say, uh, an, an, an expense that we made into some ex some uh, special expense, let's say insurance, but we categorized it under payments on account by mistake. Now, this is a liability and a liability at, that, at, at this time, it's at a negative value. So we need to increase it to make it zero. Now, going back to our magic formula, liabilities are increased to credits, okay? So in order to increase my liability from a negative number to, to a zero, I need to create a credit to payments on account and then create a debit to whatever the other account is supposed to be. Let's just say this happens to be insurance. So I'm going to go into company, click on make journal entry, and let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so I can see the number right there next to me. So I'm gonna to go to payments on account. So I, I basically select the account that I want to adjust and a journal entry must have at least two accounts, right? Because it, that's what the entry is. You're adjusting from one account to the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and credit this 1520. That's going to increase my liability from a negative number to a zero. And then my other side, which would be the debit, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it here. Let's say that happens to be insurance expense. Again, no, don't worry about the correctness of this. Just this is the adjustment that my accountant determined that we have to do. So um, as long as I know what I'm supposed to credit and what I'm supposed to debit, um, I do the journal entry there, and then I'm gonna hit save. And then we should see instantly on the report uh, that balance just disappeared. Matter of fact, in QuickBooks, I'm gonna change the amount instead of making it uh, 1520, let me make it 1521. That way we actually have a, a credit balance there of a dollar so we can see it there more clearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And yes, we should now see $1 balance. So that's what journal entries do. Journal entries are used by accountants that apply all the accounting principles and all the best knowledge about accounting and they debit and credit accounts to adjust their values and change their final results. Mm -hmm.